This is Mr. Cage, your mindset transformation coach. And this is not the thought of the day, but this is a conversation for contemplation. And yes, sir, it's Uno. I am a self-proclaimed Unologist. I've played against young people, older people from all over. If you and I have ever played and you beat me or I beat you, type Uno in the comment section. The people that I played with, the groups, each individual had their own set of rules. It's crazy, y'all. Type in the comment section or share your sets of rules that you play with your friends, family, or peers, or colleagues. I recently had an eye-opening experience concerning UNO. I was in a class, and I was listening to a lot of noise. And I went over to see what was going on, and I discovered that some young Hispanic students, all ladies, were playing UNO. The version that they were playing was flip uno and regular uno combined according to Spain rules. And I thought, I've never experienced it before. I wanted to get involved. So because I wanted to get involved in someone else's experience or group and be a part of a group, I had to conform to the group. I couldn't bring my own experience to that group to really learn the game and be involved in the game. They taught me. I was a little bit slow here and there because it was my first time. But I got the hang of it, and we had a great time. From a cultural diversity standpoint, if we are really trying to connect and unite culturally from ethnicity or cultural background or experience, we cannot afford to bring our experience to someone else or a group of people when we're trying to understand. We also can't assume, because I can't assume, I couldn't assume the rules of engagement based on the game that they were playing because I had never played it before. These are thoughts that we need to consider as we try to build the bridge culturally with one another. We cannot afford to bring our experience to someone else's experience when we're attempting to connect with them genuinely. This is Mr. Cage, your mindset transformation coach, and this was a conversation for contemplation.